Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to talk about another flow requirement. Let's take a look at what the requirement is. Stephen Green, a lead system administrator at Universal Containers, received a requirement to create a screen flow with the following fields. So just a very simple screen flow which takes in the city and the phone number. So there's going to be, this is what the screen will look like and it will, there will have be a text field to capture the city and there's going to be another field to capture your phone number. Now we have done so many of these examples, but one thing we did not cover is the validation. So let's say on the city field, I only want to allow alphabets. No numbers are allowed. Okay, so this is the regex expression that I found it online for only allowing the alphabets, but no numbers or any special characters. So only alphabet characters are allowed for the city and the phone number. This is the pattern for the phone number that also I found online and it only allows minimum of 10 digits and maximum of 15 digits. This is what we're going to build in this tutorial. And the other thing is we are also going to be customizing those buttons. So, you know, there is a button here which says previous and there's a button which says next and then there's another button here. So how do we customize it? Hey, we don't want to have uh, previous or next. Uh, let's say I want to have a finish button here and this one I wanted to customize it to another uh, label. Let's say save or save and exit or things of that sort. So we're going to see how to customize these buttons and also we will see how to add these validations. So let's go back to our uh, Salesforce here and I'm going to go over to my Salesforce account and this is the regular expression uh, Wikipedia that you can learn about and it'll tell you what you need for numbers or something of that sort. Okay, so this is a good resource that you can check out and there are multiple other resources available online to understand about the regex pattern and regex pattern are very common um, in your in IT world and a lot of times we need these expressions to validate what the end user has entered. Okay, so you can learn more about it in your free time. So going back to the flows here, I'm going to click on this new flow button and I'm going to add a screen component on my screen, which will allow the user to enter the city and the phone number. So there's already a phone component available, just like we had name component, we had an email component, we also have a phone component because these are the things that normally we kind of ask uh, people to enter, right? That's very three or three of the most important things is their phone number, their email addresses and their uh, name. So here the flow label, we will call it as screen validation and uh, the API name is going to be this. On the screen, we are going to enter a drop a text input field and we will call it as city that is for there. And now here there is a validate input. Okay. Now we have seen what the provide help is. That's more like a help text that you want to write. Then you can write it here. Validate input is means if you want to make sure what the user has entered is in a correct format, then you write uh, your formula here means what is the format it should be. And if that doesn't meet the criteria, then this is where the error message you will write and that's what will be thrown on the screen. So let's go ahead and enter the error message saying, please enter valid value for city, no numbers allowed. This is what the error message is. Now, what is going to be the formula? So as I mentioned, I have already given you the formula, which is, which is this one. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and just copy it rather than I'm going to go ahead and copy this entire formula here and uh, I'm going to paste it over here and going to be the quotes and over here going to be another quotes here and then done. So this is my city uh, component that I've dropped. Now I'm going to drop the phone one and this is my phone number. So here I'm going to say phone is the API name. Now what is your what's the pattern so okay so pattern is also provided here so i'm just going to go ahead and copy the pattern which only allows numbers and then minimum of 10 digits and maximum of 15. now if you want to make it required you can set that now the other thing is this is what we have is for the pattern here now if you wanted to make it read only you can if you want to uh, provide a default value you can here and so this is about the phone now, the other thing is you have these buttons. We'll take a look at these buttons in a minute, but let's go ahead and hit the done here and let's go ahead and save this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and connect and hit the save 
and uh, the flow will be called screen input validations and this is going to be the flow name and hit the save now let's go ahead and just run it and see if it is allowing the valid value so let's say for the city i go ahead and enter this thing with the numbers and you can see here it gives me an error message saying please enter valid value for city no numbers allowed so now if i say this one it'll take it'll be fine okay the error message will no longer be there so now if i go ahead and say this one phone number let me see if i allow something like this it is going to give me a error message here your entry does not match the allowed pattern okay so that is what it says now this is the default error message we, we have not customized it right this is the default error message that shows up on the screen so it only allows numbers so if i go ahead and say this finish and it says this does not allow the required format so now it has to have minimum of 10 numbers so i'm going to go ahead and provide the phone number nine zero 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 now this will work because it it meets the criteria okay so that it meets the criteria and it worked now similarly let's say if i try to enter this and then i enter number one two here let's say the city is dallas and with the city i enter one and two, one two number next to it and then here i'm going to enter a nine digit phone number okay so let's see what happens so this is nine digits phone number now hit the finish it's going to give you an error message here saying uh, your entry doesn't match, but it didn't give me an error message over there. It did actually. So the please enter valid value for city, no numbers allowed. So now you can see here, numbers are not allowed. Now you have to give a proper phone number, which is of 10 digits. So you can see here, it worked fine. So it did not throw any validations. So now the city has to be, let's say I'm going to put the city as Houston and the phone number is five six seven eight nine zero one one two two that is a valid phone number so hit the finish everything worked fine no issues okay and if you want to have a successful error message saying hey the value you entered was correct something like that you can do it but i'm not going to go and repeat myself because we have done so many of those screens again already so city here i'm going to say let's say we enter um a city called new york and i by mistake gave a number one at the end and phone number is one two three four five six seven 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 this is a valid phone number it finished now this is going to give me an error message please enter the valid value for city no numbers allowed so this is how you can add validations on your screen now let's go ahead and talk about how do we customize these buttons okay so now when you select of this select this footer and then there is a configure footer option and then there's a configure header option so you can see here if you don't want to show the header you can just uncheck this checkbox and the header will not be shown but if you going to have this checkbox checked then then the name of the screen will pop up but let's say we don't want to do that so just going to go ahead and hide the header and then similarly you can customize your footer as well and you can choose your option. So let's say here I've given a custom label. So what you can do is you can use a custom label or you can just use the standard finish button. So if you wanna use a custom label, you select this option and if you wanna hide it, you can hide this next or finish as well. So let's say if I wanna use a custom label and I'm gonna call it as save. And uh, now here I wanted to, let's say you wanna use something else for previous, okay? So here I can say instead of uh, previous i wanted to use a, something like exit okay so this is what i want to use exit for and uh, then if you leave the pause as it is and then if you want to have a confirmation message you can either use a standard message or you can use a custom message the standard message is that this flow interview is now paused this is what the standard message is and in the custom message you can write whatever you want here so now i'm going to leave it to the standard message hit the done here make it have it saved and now if i run it what happens is this is what i see so you can see here the city is going to be um whatever you enter the phone number there are validations already and then you see a save button okay you don't see the other button now the other buttons are because you don't have another screen component that's why you don't see those but you have only the save button now if you want to change it to something else you can do that by going over again to this and let's say you want to change your save button and uh, you want to save say it uh, do it later 
just like that okay this is what i wanted to go ahead and use instead and then hit the done here and then save it and uh, run it again now the button is going to say do it later so this is how you can customize your uh, footer and you can see here the the screen the whatever the name of the flow is we have it's no longer visible because we have hide it now these are how you can add your validation now you can add as many input components like an email field or name field etc and then you can add your own regex expression for those so this is how i've done it so if you go here the, on the city you can see under the validate input you have provided your s error message this is the error message you have and then this is the regex expression Similarly, for the phone number, you have provided a pattern here. Now, if it doesn't meet the pattern, then it is going to give you a standard message saying that, hey, this doesn't meet the pattern that you have specified. Okay, so only the numbers are allowed here. But if you enter something, let's say digits, uh, enter like a uh, alphabets, it will not allow it. So this is what you can do on your screen. You can validate what the user has entered. I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.